What up, fish people? Kenny E with Dataket Aquatics. Well, moving right along to number 26 of the Danikin Aquatics Top 100 Fish of the Fish House is Chaka the Fahaka Puffer. Chaka's been with us for about two years now. Uh, we initially started off with babysitting him and the gentleman we got him from has never come back and got him. So, I mean, we've had him almost two years now. So I'm assuming we must be keeping them. Anyway, absolutely stellar cool fish. I absolutely love this guy. The only thing I will say about these guys is you may pay attention when you're doing your tank maintenance. I wasn't that familiar with puffer fish yet. And when I was doing my tank maintenance, he came and took a rather large chunk out of my elbow. Something to keep up. In thought, don't ever turn your back on a Fahaka because they will bite. And since then, he's really chilled out with me. Now I can do my maintenance and stuff, and he occasionally lets me give him a scratch on his head. But uh, I don't mess with him too much. I mean, I have a pretty vivid memory of when he decided to take a big chunk of my flesh out. But he is definitely one of my favorite fish in the house. Relatively easy to take care of. Just make sure you give them clean, clean, clean water and uh, good quality food. He doesn't take any of the pellets or anything. I have heard of people's puffers that do, but unfortunately he does not. He either gets uh, snails and then uh, he loves, loves the krill. And occasionally when I get them, night crawlers he'll eat. And then uh, he does other things. He loves crawdads too occasionally when I feed them to him, but I've been trying to get off of the more crawdads and snails as much because I just finally got him to where he's gaining weight. He had a pretty good case of worms when I got him. And I wasn't aware of the problem with that with the puffers. And uh, anyway, Danny and I nursed him back to health. The gentleman loved him that had him. It's just unfortunately he came across some hard times and He's been with us for a while now, but a great, great fish. I'll have to go and he's playing hide and seek now, so we'll go around to the other side. He likes to play hide and seek occasionally. We'll get a little bit closer to him, but as you can see, the fine lines that he has is just amazing. But these are from, they're pretty well distributed in Africa, it's west West Africa, East Africa, and then nor Northeast Africa. Uh, Nile, Chad, uh, there's a few other countries in there. So they're pretty well dispersed. They are a true freshwater puffer, so you don't need to keep them in brackish. And these do get quite large, guys. These get up to 16 inches in length. Uh, he's about a good, oh, eight to nine now, probably. And he does not stay put very often in one spot. So, I'm trying to keep us in front of him because he likes to move back and forth on me. He does not like the camera either, usually. But if you have not kept one, I would recommend one. Definitely have at least 135 gallon. Something with some length because they do like to move back and forth. He also spends a lot of time. You want to have little structures like I've set up in here. He does like to hang under rocks and stuff when he's not cruising. And we have uh, zebra, excuse me, giant Daniels in here with them for dither fish. They seem to be quick enough where he's not able to latch into them. Now he has in the past actually taken out some of these guys. I found. Uh, half fish in here before where he's actually gotten a hold of them. I don't know if he's doing it at night when they're asleep or what he's doing. But like I said, he likes his shrimps. He eats the heck out of those. And the crawdads are not much of a battle for him. I mean, he makes quick work of those as well. But like I said, you just got to be cautious of them. They 
this one was rather testy with me when I first got them. Excuse the algae, guys. I haven't had a chance to scrape the front of the tank yet this week for him. But I mean, these guys are just amazing. They don't get quite as big as the Mubu puffers, but they still have about as good a personality. They're fun. And you do want to make sure to feed them snails and whatnot occasionally so they have something to chew up. I am going to probably start feeding him some clams on the half shell now. He, has, he got himself a big old piece of shrimp there. But he's a cool fish. Chaka the Fajacas. So guys, if you're digging these series, please do one quick thing for me. Hit that like and subscribe button. And if you would, share it off to your friends and always leave a comment. We love answering your comments. But this is, I think, I'm trying to remember if we had any other fish that we had already named on this top. I don't think we have yet, so... I think this was the first named fish that you all got to see. But like I said, I, I've been battling uh, parasites with him when I, about the last six months to a year or so, I've been really working on it, trying to watch and not give him as much snails for diet. And as you can see, he's starting to finally fill out. He doesn't look gauntly in his face. He's getting some nice roundness to him, which I like to see. But I am uh, hooked on these puffer fish now. I absolutely love this guy. You can't ask for a more personable fish. They will come up and hang out by you. He's being shy right now because he doesn't like the camera. So guys, like I said, as always, love your fish. This is going to be Kenny E. And number 26, Chaka the Fajaka. I'm going to say goodbye for now. You guys have an awesome night, and thanks for watching. There he is. Say goodbye, Chaka. Later, guys.